I'm Dr. Rebecca Saff, and I'm an allergist at Massachusetts General Hospital, and today I'm going to talk to you about recognizing and treating anaphylaxis. So anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that you're having to something you've been exposed to. So it's important to be able to recognize it and treat it quickly. The importance of recognizing anaphylaxis comes in knowing what symptoms to look for. So we look for symptoms in different systems. On the skin, we're looking for itching, swelling, or hives. Now hives are red, raised, itchy bumps on your skin that appear suddenly. If we're also looking for symptoms in the lungs, are you having difficulty breathing? Does your chest feel tight? Are you having difficulty swallowing? Does your throat feel tight? We're also looking for symptoms in your belly. Do you feel nauseous? Do you have pain in your belly? Do you feel like you're gonna throw up? Do you throw up? And then also in your heart, are you feeling dizzy or lightheaded? Those are all symptoms that could be related to anaphylaxis. So particularly if you've been exposed to something that you know you're allergic to, or you start having these symptoms suddenly, it's time to use your EpiPen. EpiPens or epinephrine auto injectors are really the treatment for anaphylaxis, not any other medications. And if you're thinking about using your EpiPen and whether you need it, it's probably a good time to use it. The way that the EpiPen works is that you're going to take it out it comes in lots of different flavors. You always have to remove the caps because that's really the, the block that prevents it from firing. So you're gonna take off the cap at the top and the cap at the bottom. You're gonna hold it in your hand. You don't wanna hold it where you're covering either the top or the bottom because then there's the possibility that it could accidentally fire. So just hold it in your fist. You always wanna be sitting or lying down because this is adrenaline. It's gonna make your heart race and it can make you have kind of a rush feeling so you want to always be sitting or lying down when you use it. And then there's no need to swing. Just press it firmly against this big muscle in your thigh. You don't need to take off any of your clothes. Just right through your, your pants and press down firmly until it clicks. One, two, three. And then you're done. And you should start feeling better in about three to five minutes. If you're not feeling better at that time, you can certainly use your second epinephrine auto injector and that should really help you with your symptoms. At that point, you've gotten epinephrine, you're having a severe allergic reaction, we really want you to go to the hospital. Now, not wanting to go to the hospital is never a reason not to use your EpiPen, but at that point, call 911 and go so you can be monitored, or at least call your allergist. At that point, if you're still having trouble breathing, it may be a good time to use your albuterol inhaler if you have one, or to take some antihistamines, such as cetirizine or Zyrtec or Benadryl diphenhydramine. That should be in your anaphylaxis action plan or your food allergy action plan. And always remember, we're here to help. So if there's ever a question, feel free to call. <laughs>